Hey traders, so we're probably going to be getting a very short term pullback out of this market and then we're probably likely to see a race to all time new highs. Let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, I know what you're thinking. You'll be like, John, how can you be saying that about the stock market? It's not about the stock market, okay? I know some of you guys, you bumblebees in the chat box, are gonna start to say, oh, John's now calling for all time new highs. No, it's not the stock market, okay? It is something else. It's another market out there. Um, and so guys, make sure you, very first thing in the description, guys, click on that. Go get free access to that trading course that I'm giving away for free. Now, what was the market that I was actually talking about? It is gold, right? Gold. Not the stock market. The stock market is in a what? It's in a sucker rally right now. So I would not be wanting to be touching the stock market. The stock market is getting to the point where we're getting ready for another big leg down. Do not be touching that mouse, okay? So, the looking at gold right now as we speak, okay, we've had a very big move. We had a nice move to the upside, which I called, okay, as you guys as you guys know. And the thing that I'm noticing right now is that I've been saying over the last couple of days, get ready for a bit of a pullback out of gold, and we're starting to see that, okay? And it's just it's just it's just what you expected. We actually had a move up, and if. And what made me want to start to say, okay, we're getting now oversold and we're getting ready for a pullback is by using one simple moving average. Now, I'm looking at a daily chart right now and this is a 52 moving average. So what does that mean? This is a 52 day moving average, right? Why? Because I'm actually looking at a, I'm looking at a daily chart, right? If I bring up the weekly chart, oh, well, I'm looking at the 52 moving average on a weekly chart. Makes sense? So... If we, and, I'll, and some of you guys just, just take this way, way, way too much, right? What about the, the, the 400 day moving average? Like, come on guys, like you guys can do your head in, right? You guys can do your head in big time. You're focusing so much on moving averages, right? But you're not, you're not focusing on the main thing, which is the market itself, right? The, the, let's keep the main thing the main thing, okay? Now I use moving averages in conjunction of where it's going, where it's trending, right? But then also if we're too far away from it. So like for example, right here, we've got too far away from it and we did actually break up to a new higher. So the very first thing here in looking at this is that we had a move up and I'm saying, we're probably gonna get a pullback because we're not ready yet. And what, is, what does it mean by, what, what do I mean by not ready yet? Um, the market's probably gonna to have to have a bit of a pullback first, wait for the moving average to start to catch up. Then we're probably gonna, then we can see the 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 really the, the meat and potatoes of this upward move that I do see happening in gold, right? But the first thing is what? We break a higher high, so we're no longer an upward trend. And then we start to say, okay, look, we've had a very big move up. We're pretty far away from the moving average. Let's actually get a pullback first before we start to see a, like a bit of a mock charge in this before we start to see um I, you know the, the move to the upside. Makes sense. So that's what we're seeing through there when it comes to the gold market. I just see probably probably a bit more of a sell-off coming in the stock in, in gold, but then we're probably because we we are we are sort of above this sort of uh, support level now. We're probably getting a bit, a bit of a pullback to this level through here, as you can see. All right, so something like a bit of a pullback here, like that, and then we're probably going to start to see a move back up to all-time new highs in gold. So gold is actually looking really, really, really powerful. We have been in a downward trend, high lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. Now we've made a higher high. We are no longer in a downward trend. If the market pulls back, creates a higher low, and we break this level through here, we start to do something like this. Then the buyers have come back in. The trend is your friend until the end. The trend was down, and that was your friend. And now the up is now quite possibly your friend. Makes sense? So we need to keep an eye out for that when it comes to that there. Quick look at actual silver itself as well too. And the really big interesting thing that I'm noticing with silver, let's actually bring up a normal chart through here. The big thing I'm noticing with silver is that we're still compressing up into this overall sort of, we're not any, we're not getting any bullish activity right now when it comes to silver. Silver's pretty flat right now. We really need to see silver get back above this $24, or this maybe $22 level, maybe even $24 level. Okay, we need to see silver do something like this to get break break above there. 
Once silver does that, then we're probably likely to start to see the move back to the upside. Let's go have a look at the mining sector right now. So we'll look at the GDX. And the thing that I'm noticing with the GDX is that we actually had the we had we had that little short term upward move, which is what I was calling, and we got that. Okay. So really interesting to see what actually happens and what forms through here because we still are in an overall bear market, right? We got this move down on this weekly chart. So we've got this move down. Let's actually bring this up. Okay, so we've got this move down from here. And now this could just be a pullback before we see something like that in the mining sector, right? So don't be getting too like too caught up on on what's going on there when it comes to the when it comes to the gold stocks, even the junior stocks as well too, right? So same sort of thing as well too. As you can see, we're actually above this level through here. Now I do see really big moves coming out of the mining sector, but for that to, for that to start to happen. We really need to get back above this. See this level. This is level through here. We really need to get back above here. So, the level that I'm need to see the GDX is probably probably start to hit the fifty dollar mark. Once we see the fifty dollar mark, we're probably starting to see um, a bit of a V bottom through there. And then once that happens, we're probably going to start to see a really nice move over the next few years, two, three, four years, right? Something like this um in the in the gdx and a movement to the upside around that 180 dollar level um from there so that's what i'm seeing through there quick look at the actual market so the stock market good old good old stocky market and the good old stocky market we can see we're actually getting a um we're still in this overall pullback through here so we're in this downward phase we're still in this overall pullback and if i zoom in on this level through now we can see what we're looking at right now. We're, there's, there's probably going to be a quite possibility we're going to see something like this and then a breakdown like that. Once that happens, then we're probably going to see a bit of a free fall coming back down like that in the S&P 500. So I wouldn't be too surprised to see more weakness coming into that. And then looking at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ is the weakest one out of the whole lot of them. Look at this here on the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ squeezing up into this descending, this descending triangle pattern. And we're still, look at this here, we're still doing nothing here on the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is the weakest one out of the whole lot of them. It's not even getting a strong rally, right? The Dow Jones had a very strong rally. The S&P has had a little bit of a, a little bit more of a stronger rally um, than, the, than the NASDAQ. But the NASDAQ's just going sideways. And you can see here, once we start to get down to this 10,000 level, there is there's actually no support until we get to 10,000. So this could be the calm before the storm in NASDAQ because we, we just haven't, we, ha we had a move down, right? And we haven't been doing much now for quite some time, right? We could be getting ready for something like this to happen on the NASDAQ, right? So I would not be too surprised to start to see that happening um, over the next couple of months to start to see really, really sort of freak out moves happening um, in the NASDAQ to end this capitulation sort of uh, phase here. So that's the calm before the storm there. Now, when it comes to the NASDAQ itself, I actually do have a overall target of around that 7,000 level uh, from there. Because what you'll find is, I was talking about this with some of my clients today, is that a lot of the times when the bubble, where, wherever the bubble starts, which was 7,000 on the NASDAQ, we tend to retrace that. Now, we don't know how long it's gonna take to retrace that, but we tend, to retrace that. This is the exact same thing that happened with Bitcoin as well too, right? If I bring up the if I bring up the Bitcoin bubble chart, if I go back to the if I go back to the 2007 uh, bubble, uh, this is this is GPTC. Let's actually bring up the Bitcoin chart. Okay, cool, right? And if we go back to if we actually go back to the bubble, look at this here. So where did it start? where you can see it actually we actually started to see Quite a nice move really from there, but then that was, that's, see how it went vertical there? Wherever it starts to go really vertical, that's where you probably start to see a retracement back down to there, possibly even down to these levels through here. But you can see it almost, wherever it started to really go vertical, you can see it actually come, we retraced that vertical move. Again, that's the bubble. And we almost retraced a bit more as well too. So that's what you expect to see. And that's the same like what, we, what we're seeing right now, right? If we have a look at the Bitcoin chart and we can see, uh, this is actually wrong. Um, this data is actually wrong here. Uh, that we didn't actually get that bar there, right? So wherever we started, where did where did we start to go vertical? We started to go vertical around the what's that ten thousand level, right? So therefore, it makes sense that Bitcoin's probably going to have a move down 
towards that 10,000 level. Hey traders, I'm giving away 100% uh, free access to my brand new breakthrough full trading course. This is eight videos over 10 hours of pure, amazing and powerful strategies. This is my most powerful systems of strategies that I've used for the last 16 years and I'm giving it away for free. So this is what I want you to do right now. I want you to go to johnsfreegift.com or there should be a link around here somewhere, a button or in the description or somewhere in there. Click on that and you can go get free access to my brand new uh, breakthrough trading course. So go to johnsfreegift.com right now. Go to that right now, guys. You can get full, complete, free membership access. Go to that right now.